Here we go. You know what time it is first. We have to do the reveal of the cookies this week. All right, are you ready for the reveal? Because it's coming in hot. We got four new flavors this week. Let's do it, baby. We've got, oh my goodness. What do you think about those? Dee -dee 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 -dee. If I can show them correctly. So, starting on this side, we got the Oreo cookie. Then we've got the lemon cookie. Then we've got the uh, red velvet white chocolate chip cookie. And then we've got the Butterfinger cookie. So there you go. All four of them looking pretty good. Uh, we got the Oreo looking fantastic. The lemon looks like a candied lemon on top. Looks really good. It's like a lemon glaze and a candied lemon on top. Then you have the Oreo with like dusted cookie crumbs and kind of like uh, a fudgy inside a little bit. And then you have the red velvet one, which looks kind of like a cakey cookie, kind of like standard red velvet with chocolate with chips. Uh, and then the Butterfinger looks like a real wild card. I, the Butterfinger to me, I think, is the biggest wild card right now. Um, I think this one is the most predictable. The red uh, velvet white chip is the most predictable. Lemon would be the next most predictable. Then Oreo. But it's got the icing on top. That always throws a curveball, right? And then the Butterfinger, I'm just like, ah. I kind of know what to expect. It's got a little Butterfinger on top, but am I even going to bite that Butterfinger? I don't know. So we'll kind of see. Is there like Butterfinger in it? Um, so Butterfinger has me damn curious. I'm going to be honest. Butterfinger has me real damn curious. We'll do the lemon first. All right. So here we go, baby. Jesus, even the other one's doing it. Okay. So there you go. You get an idea. Lemon. Ridiculously glazed. Ridiculously shiny. All right. So I'm going to bite it. I'm going to get like... Oh no, Jesus, that's not even a candied lemon. Wait, is this a real lemon? <laughs> Hold on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they put a real lemon on, it's not candied. Wh okay. Big man. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? It's got a little glaze on it. That's why I'm still eating it. I'm not a moron. Like it just has a little, well, all right. <laughs> Some would argue that, but. Thank, if I took a bite of that with that lemon on there, that would have literally been an instant zero out of 10 for this thing. And I got to be honest, not a good start. <laughs> I think what happened is I bit the spot that had the lemon juice from that non-candied lemon sitting on top of it. So I think the juice just sat there. So I'm going to take a bite of the corner. Okay. Yeah. Once you get the lemon juice out of the way, like immediately... Take that dumbass lemon off of your cookie when you get it. Like, ask them not to put the lemon on, maybe. There should be a setting for that, hopefully, in the kiosk. Take the lemon off. It's a good lemon cookie. Like, Crumble has fantastic cookies. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Like, they have a great base cookie. And that's a really good base cookie with a lemon glaze on it. It tastes kind of how I would expect it to. But the lemon has to get a 4 out of 10. Uh, I, I can't give it anything more than a 4. Like, you put a... Like Gordon Ramsay would look at this, he'd say, it's raw, it's a raw lemon on top of a lemon cookie. Except he would sound but British instead of like some clown. Let's go with the red velvet chocolate chip next. Because I think that one is going to be a little predictable. And like I said, they're good at throwing curveballs at you. I told you that they're good at throwing curveballs. And they threw a huge curveball by putting a raw lemon on top of that cookie. And I'm not saying, you know, not every curveball is a strike. That curveball missed way outside and low. That one's in the dirt and it bounced past the catcher. Wild throw. Here we go. We got the red velvet cookie. Oh, look at that. You can even see the white chunk. Red velvet white chip cookie, aptly named. Great cookie again. It's really way more chocolatey than I expected it to be. Not a bad thing. That sounded, it kind of came across as a bad thing. Not a bad thing. It's just like a good standard cookie with chips in it. Like, what more can I possibly say about that? Like, no curveballs in that one. That is a standard, delicious, classic cookie. You can take my, you can take my word for it. You don't take my word for it. It's there. Six out of ten. Thinking about saving the Oreo for last. So, let's dig into the Butterfinger. This one is going to be, oh man, nice and cookie-like. Butterfinger, baby. This cookie deserves an award. And let me tell you why. Because 
it found a way to make Butterfingers delicious without just obliterating your teeth for like a month and a half. That's a damn job well done, I would say. A job very well done. Take a gander at that. It's just like a brownie base, which is interesting because I wouldn't associate that with an Oreo. But this Oreo cookie, and let's not forget, after this, we have the creme de la Sven, aptly named by Joe. And the creme de la Sven is when I take a little bit from each cookie, I mash them all together, and I shove them into my pie hole. But here's the Oreo. Let's do it. We've delayed long enough. It's Oreo time. Ah, I'm excited for this. Oh my god. Dude. Oh! It's a cream cheese frosting. On top of like an Oreo cookie. Oh my god. That's incredible. It's like... You, you bite through it. There's like no resistance. And yet, somehow... The cookie is still so dense and chewy. Somehow they figured out. Super chewy. Super easy to bite through at the same time. It's like magic happening somehow. They did the same thing with the Butterfinger. I don't know. Maybe they're just a bunch of wizards. And then every once in a while, wizard jacks up the spell. And you get the lemon cookie with the raw lemon on top. Let me tell you. That cookie is so damn good. The frosting is incredible. The cookie is the crumble chocolate cookie that you have come to love if you've had one. Also realized, like a clown, we forgot to grade the uh, Butterfinger out of 10. I mean, Innovation gets it a couple points. Could have done better on overall taste, but Innovation definitely gives it some points. So I'm going to give that one a 7.5 out of 10. Um, then the Oreo, I mean, hey, you know that was a banger. I'm still enjoying that taste in my mouth, even though most of it has been swallowed i'm still <laughs> there's a lot of innuendos in this stream and i gotta be honest they're not intentional but jesus they're cupcakes you want a good meal get yourself the sonic queso burger and get yourself one of these for dessert because the oreo cookie is getting a solid nine out of ten you got yourself two nine out of ten you got yourself an 18 out of 20 meal so now it is time i'm a little excited i'm a little nervous at the same time so we have a piece of the lemon we have a piece of the chocolate and then we're going to stack on top of that a piece of the butterfinger and then we're going to stack on top of that with the frosting and all and now it's all mashed up and on my fingers a piece of the oreo it's stacked on stacked on stack cookie time and we call this the creme de la sven and i'm making a goddamn mess but cheers to you motherfuckers God damn it. Okay. It's coming together. We're like, we're like biting the sandwich. And all the flavors are starting to get to know each other in my mouth a little bit. The red velvet is dominating the flavor and the butterfinger is dominating the flavor. I know it's hard to believe. Lemon? Really not even coming to the party at all. It was like, it showed up at the door, and then last minute it was like, uh, I have diarrhea, I'm going home. And went home. In this batch, you want to keep them separate. The creme de la spin gets a solid 5 out of 10. It's just a mash of flavors. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm going to eat the cookie off the floor. I how good it is, I don't care. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, recap with the YouTube video tomorrow. There's a link to it below. Um, and if you get a chance, let me know what you think about these cookies if you can try them. If not, I hope someday you get the opportunity to. So, good night, everybody, and eat some dessert, because why not?